Hello, this is Judy Baca. I'd like to talk a little bit about the process we employed to create the imagery. Um, we studied the site um, and actually did some renderings in which we submitted the walls to a series of puntos, of uh, a division of musical harmony. Um, the ellipses that you see appearing are the ellipses that move through the room to pick up the viewer as they walk into the space. Looking at the space, the ellipses actually were replicated in the movement of a, of a skirt, which is um, a kind of beautiful, colorful um, tracing of a series of lines that would create the movement of a dancer's skirt. We also studied some of the architecture, which is um, another point that um, the board of directors uh, directed me to think about. And we found in the National Library of Congress this beautiful form of the aqueduct of Dallas. And it's a historical site. Um, and so we use that as a horizon line, as a line to actually define, again, the bones of the murals. We studied the Dallas skyline, uh, took the Dallas skyline and dropped it in um, as a way of defining the horizon the beautiful tower at the Fine Arts Museum, and also the um, performers uh, from photographs that you sent. We're using the uh, Limon Dance Company here um, as the dancers that are uh, moving through the swirl of skirts. With this, the whole central element of this idea for the mural is movement. dark down and then light over dark 
actually makes a better gray. So when I mix it, I, if I go a little dark and then I blend it out with just a tad more light, I can get the, sh the, the movement mm -hmm. of the fabric a little better. Does that make sense? See how mm -hmm. easy that is? But again, look at I've got too much strokes. So back to my rag, too much paint. Mm -hmm. 